Now, listen, I gotta be a hundred with y'all. I am not in the best mood, but we're still going to fast because that's going to help us. We don't run away from our problems. We go straight towards them so we can figure out how to maneuver. So come with me so I can give you the instructions. when you want to get into fasting. What I've learned about fasting is it brings you peace and it shows you different ways to handle your emotions. This month for me has been a lot. I've learned a lot about myself. Like I always tell y'all, one thing I really learned about myself is I need to start accepting me more. I'm very critical of myself. And um, I like to be perfect. I've learned since I got into this journey. Um, and I guess that just comes with losing 100 pounds when you feel like you don't want to go back somewhere or whatever. But what I've noticed is I have created this monster. <laughs> because... I don't feel like I can have a mistake. And just, just, that's just not real. I'm a human and every piece of my body is beautiful. I feel like it's important that I start to embrace that fact 100%. I think that a lot of times we get caught up with the fact of what we want to be perceived as. And I think that that's been weighing very heavy on me. Um, and body dysmorphia as well has been weighing heavy on me. And if I'm in a honey with y'all, that's what this fast is for me. About accepting myself fully. Not worried about who else accepting me, but accepting me for me because I am everything. And I know this. So this fast is going to be self Accepting that it's going to be all watermelon, as you can see um, on the title, it's going to be all watermelon. It's going to be all watermelon. Um, it's going to be three days. It's just a time period for you to flush out all energies and pull in all vitamins you can from these watermelons. It's watermelon season, and it's time to actually put in those good juices in your body anyways. And for me, that's my melon of choice. So I want you to find one melon that you really agree with as far as eating. And you eat that for three days. And during that three days, I want you to come up with a task every day. You need to have a task for each day that you complete in regards to accepting yourself. Self-accepting fast. No, no excuses, okay? We on this journey together, and I want you to understand that it's not going to always be easy. It's not going to always be peachy cream because, girl, I was in tears. I was crying because I say something like, oh, you are still going through a journey. And I'm not going to always be up here all formal and Pent up and did up. I'm going to start being very informal with y'all. We family now. I don't have to have this perception of myself that I'm perfect. And I'm learning that I have to show y'all that too. So I can get better. I'm just a, a person. They got a platform that learned. And that came from so far. And that's here. And... In order for me to get better, I have to practice this. So that's what you're going to see me practicing. I'll be doing watermelon for three days, like I told y'all. No specific amount, whatever my body calls for. And I'll have water too, of course. 
And that's it. And we'll be accepting ourselves through the whole journey. Taking a bath every night. And really meditating thoughts into myself. Saying things to myself. And those baths. And really just understanding that I'm perfect just the way I am. Use this time to manifest for me. And just understand that whatever you choose going forward is okay. Okay? Feeling like I'm feeling? Give me a thumbs up. A share. And let somebody know that we're doing this fast. You don't have to be perfect. But it's important to really understand that these things are going on in our lives. These things like body dysmorphia, not feeling the best, self-esteem issues. We as women are dealing with these issues and I just want to bring awareness to it so we can get better because it all starts with your mindset and where you at mentally. That's how I lost 100 pounds, okay? And started fasting in the first place and doing everything I'm doing now. But I see that I'm still on a journey and I'm giving myself grace and I'm learning that that's okay. And that I'm not perfect. Every angle is not going to be the best. So what? I'm going to start embracing that. Because you start to not accept the not so good angles. And they are horrible. And that's not true. They are you. So, going forward, I'm just going to be a little bit more informal with myself. Because, girl, I'm missing a human. And I'm not going to be up there trying to be a robot. Because of what I want to be perceived as. I'm the best. I'm the GOAT. Because of my uniqueness and everything I've been through. And I want you to take this and run with it. I want you to understand that um, it's possible to look at yourself and say, okay, it's more to work on. And I got more to do. And that's okay. That is okay. I want you to complete your fast the last three days of the month before May. That's why I'm doing this right now. Because I want to bring in May. With new spirits and things of that sort. And yes. That's what we're doing. When you get off of your watermelon. When you get to your last day. And it's May 1st. The first day you can eat. I want you to really think hard about what you're eating. For me. All May is going to be no cooked food. I may have some um, packaged beans. That's already been boiled. I may have that. I don't know. But most of my foods are going to be um, salad. Really uh, well-dressed salads is what I'm thinking about. I'm really just going to focus in on salads, fruits, things of that sort. Not just, you know, all types of salads. I really want to just get into eating more um, food that's alive. And before my birthday, which is June 6th, I want to really do a full month no cooked food. So all May is no cooked food. And I'm so excited. Y'all gonna come along with me with that too. I think I might document. I might document every day the foods that I'm eating. To make it fun. Or if I don't document every day, I'm just gonna give y'all a video letting y'all know how I'm gonna do it. And what I plan to do. Also, like I told y'all, I'm not weighing myself. I, I'm not doing that anymore. The only time I feel the need to weigh myself is if I cannot fit my clothes no more. Because that's too stressful for me right now. If you want to weigh yourself, go ahead, sis. Do what you got to do. Uh, until next time, dog. Remember, this is about self-awareness. And bringing awareness to trying to be perfect in an imperfect world. And understanding that it don't matter what angle you at, you still cute. It's okay to be you, okay? I had to learn that, and I want to teach it to y'all because I understand that it's important that you get it. And um, yeah, that's what it is. I really do love y'all. I'm sharing something very deep with y'all. I want y'all to understand that. I'm putting it all out there right now. 
I'm just going to be going in deeper on these issues because it's important. I see myself really just spiral into um, so much wisdom after I had my tears on the issues. Like, oh, now it's time to teach. So I said, come here. <laughs> but anyway, until next time, ladies, let me know if you have any questions or anything like this. But this is going to be a smooth fast. All watermelon, all water, three days, self-acceptance. That's it. Let's go. It's about to be May. And we're going to get this done.